Okay, Melissa, so I've got your contract up right here. Okay, and the first thing I want to mention is that in my experience, I, the more clear a contract is, the more likely it is to, to not to be broken. And if it is broken, the more clearly it's written, the easier it is to arbitrate. Okay, so what we're shooting for is very, very clear, uh, uh, just as much clarity as you could possibly muster up for this. And that's why I'm okay with you guys using these templates um, like this over here. I'll show you that in a second. But, and I, you know, I don't know if you used a template for this one um, or if you used that, the one from the book, um, but, or from AIGA, but I think that the most important thing here is to really be clear and succinct. One thing I highly recommend not doing is using a script typeface in a business document, which this is, it's a business contract. So I would keep this as objective as possible. It's difficult to read. It could, you know, it's, it, it, it's, you know, these contracts are inherently somewhat difficult to understand just by the sheer nature of the verbiage. So adding a visual, um, something that could be, again, construed as not as clear as possible, I think is a, is a mistake in a business contract. So again, I do not recommend using scripted typeface. The next thing is this, is that you've got a lot of things here that are really super convoluted. For example, background overview, you don't need that in a, in a really in a, in a contract. Um, basically, these are parts of your, um, um, what do you call it, uh, 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 your creative brief. Those are parts of your creative brief, so they don't necessarily really need to belong in the contract, right? So um, then you have schedule, estimated, estimate sheet. Um, you know, putting an estimate in a contract, I, I, I don't think that's, again, that's something that's confusing. So you're saying estimate. This is a contract. This is, this should be saying, okay, this project is going to take this long. This is how much it's going to cost you. Oh, that's the contract. An estimate is something completely different. So I would keep the estimate off the final contract. Um, deposit, um, Okay, so you talk about your grant of rights upon full payment grants the client the following rights to finish work for use as. See, this is so confusing. And then you added this, just a really, really confused thing. With respect to you, you shown above, the client shall. This is just too difficult to understand. Um, you have a, let me see. I thought you had an assignment of rights. Um, reservation of rights, all rights expressly granted here under reserve to including, but not limited to. See, this is so difficult to understand. Let me show you a really good alternative right down here. It's, it's, let me show you where I'm at. Over, I'm over here in, um, week five, a client contract writing guidelines. Let's open that page up. And when we open up, we can see there's these AIG example here. And then down here, there's a wonderful little design template for a contract. I want to show you that. And let's open that up. And, and I, I'd like you to use this as your as your uh, template. Okay, it's I use this almost this exact same contract. Look how short it is. Look how easy it is to understand. Reservation of our uh, reproduction of rights, reproduction of work rights is so easy to understand. Simple. Okay, you got your deposit, your payment. So I would really like you to see you transpose all of this information into this succinct and specifically detailed and clear, objectively clear contract. Okay, I think it will really help. And and the nice thing about this contract is that you can use it in future. Um, you, the Art Institute has expressly given you uh, permission to use this as a basis template for your actual contracts for your freelance work. So again, I, I, I rec highly recommend using that guy right there as opposed to that guy right there. Okay. Any questions, comments, or concerns whatsoever, please feel free to contact. Thank you.